Two days ago, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a post that said a game from my childhood was making a comeback. Flappy Bird, the game that pretty much took the entire world by storm. The game released more than 10 years ago, 24th of May 2013. And I think it existed for maybe six months to one year, not very long. And then the creator pulled the game because he wasn't happy with some of the things people were doing when they died in the game and stuff. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that somebody actually died over this game. Uh, I believe, unless it was just like a complete made up story, I believe that someone killed or like seriously injured, like hospitalized um, their brother over Flappy Bird because like, you know, I think either like his brother beat his high score or like, you know, distracted him or hit the phone out of his hand as he was about to get his best score ever. Um, and that was like a, a huge story that went around in school when uh, when I used to play this game. So yeah, I didn't look too much into it. I saw the post, it said, you know, Flappy Bird is coming back after 10 years, blah, blah, blah. I scrolled past it, I got the gist. Uh, but it was revealed yesterday that the original developer has no ties uh, to the revival of Flappy Bird and he um, distanced himself from the project and its leaders. Uh, he said, no, I have no relation with their game. I did not sell anything. Uh, you know, he didn't sell the, the trademark, the copyright, etc. to it. What actually happened here is that the trademark and copyright etc for the name Flappy Bird became available again and uh, someone bought it. They decided to make a team and, you know, rebuild the game, um, use the name since they now legally own it and uh, relaunch it. However, it turns out it's actually just a huge like crypto scam. In fact, it's not even crypto, it's an NFT scam. Yeah, do you remember those things when people tried to say that JPEGs have a price tag and tried selling them for like thousands of dollars? Obviously, these guys saw a huge potential to make money here. I think they were hoping that nobody really noticed that it had ties to NFTs until it released. Uh, because Flappy Bird was uh, pretty much the biggest game ever in 2013 and probably even carrying on to 2014. Um, it had over 100 million downloads which like I know today doesn't seem like the biggest thing ever because there's actually like hundreds of games now that have this and more and there's thousands of apps in general on the Google Play Store and the uh, Apple App Store that have over 100 million downloads uh, but back then you know back in 2013 this was like a very big thing the game reportedly made $50,000 a day in advertising revenue back then there was no microtransactions. You didn't buy skins or discover new maps or lives or anything. It was just ads. $50,000 a day in ad revenue is absolutely insane. This was obviously back in the day where people actually had attention spans that were bigger than a goldfish and they were willing to sit through a 15 to 30 second ad to continue playing the game. Whereas today, people would likely just uninstall the game if they were hit with something like that. And at first glance, when you watch the trailer they did for this, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like, you know, they added new things like new characters, new levels, maybe some pixelated cutscenes and things like that. Looks like they took some inspiration from things such as Candy Crush with like levels and uh, a journey that you embark on. And, you know, you'd like progress to the next area once you beat the level, etc. Uh, then there's like different game modes. Uh, you can do quests. Uh, obviously, there's a, a store for microtransactions. Uh, I'm assuming you're built to buy, like, you know, lives, power-ups, um, new characters, etc. Looks like they took a bit of inspiration from things like Crossy Road as well. Like, many, you know, pretty good decisions. Um, but it's just, it's, it's a crypto NFT scam game. Uh, and then it gets worse. They really, like, not even doubled down uh, because they basically, like, I guess they, they, they triple downed. <laughs> They made Flappy Bird again, all good, and then they made it an NFT crypto scam. Uh, then they decided to launch it through Telegram, uh, which is like the place that I just associate with every single scam in existence. Uh, I'm pretty sure Telegram is pitched as the place where like messages are untraceable and encrypted and you can say anything you want here and it's the place to go like the back door of the internet. So I just avoid it like the plague. 
So that was strike two. Uh, strike three is that recently a beta test build of the game was actually uh, leaked. And um, it turns out that the textures are really bad. And when looking closer, the characters have like three eyes in some places and things. Um, and people are assuming uh, that the game is AI generated, um, or that at least you know the, the characters and things have been made uh, with AI. So yeah, they uh, they went for the trifecta. They uh, <laughs> this is like this is the sloppiest of all slop. This is like if you were to take a steaming hot shit in the toilet and it came out like an ice cream, you know, like a Mr. Whippy with a curl on the top. That is that is this game. Uh, it, yeah, it's it's terrible. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it just, I, oh man, I like, I see where this could have gone and how successful they, this could have been and it hurts. It really, really hurts because you could have just remade Flappy Bird, um, modified the, the look of it to look a bit more, you know, modern, uh, added the microtransactions. People would have been fine with that. Microtransactions are expected in mobile games today. Um, you know, add more characters, add more levels, um, add things like being able to, you know, uh, buy a life, um, etc. Online multiplayer would have been a great addition. Um, and release it on app stores, you know, the Google Play and um, the the Apple App Store. Maybe do a web version, who knows. And, and that's it. And you could have had a very successful game uh, that gets hundreds of thousands, if not millions of downloads for nostalgic purposes. And you could be making thousands of dollars a week um, in both ad revenue, put ads in the game, and microtransaction revenue. Uh, and instead they went, nah, let's generate it with AI and put like zero effort in. And then let's also make it a crypto slash NFT game and launch it through Telegram. Like the worst possible decisions you could have made with this were made. Um, so yeah, it's just like, I don't understand how you can acquire such a, like, beloved and nostalgic IP and then just absolutely butcher it. Uh, how did these people not see that this game could have stood on its own without the need for things like crypto and NFTs and whatever else? I just don't, I just don't get it. Uh, it's like the worst people ever that could have acquired the name actually acquired the rights to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, a sad story. Honestly, at this point, this game is doomed. Uh, they should, like, the best strategy for these guys going forward should be to just sell the trademark to somebody else who will do it justice. Um, sell it to someone else who will actually build a team to remake the game, um, add new things and, and launch it onto to stores and it might do quite well. I mean, games that are, like, basically copies of this get tens if not hundreds of thousands sometimes even millions of downloads anyway so the fact that you have the original name and the rights to use it is absolutely huge um you know and even games that are like you know that, that this is inspired by or that even maybe games that were inspired by flappy bird because they came after things like crossy road right crossy road has made like 10 million dollars in revenue then you've got geometry dash which made like 42 million or something and you've even got games like flying neon cat and stuff like that that have like 10 million downloads <laughs> so yeah so so much more so much better could have been uh, could have been done with this but they went for the trifecta of slop they dug a shit it wouldn't flush so they left it in there they came back later and took another shit on top of it and it still wouldn't flush so they got a family member to come and take another shit on top of their shit um, and yeah, that that's... Uh...